the Thai people are very polite. They do. Do you, uh, do you think that matches with the culture that you are coming from? Why do we like some people and not others, even though clearly some people are total assholes? My wife uh, was home six, so we had, to, <laughs> we had to move. Hey champs, what's happening? Welcome to another episode of Tag Along With Chai. We are in the capital city of Thailand, Bangkok. It has a population of 8.7 million people, and that makes it the third busiest city in Southeast Asia. I'm taking you to the heart of Bangkok at Asok BTS train station. We're trying to find out how it is to live in Thailand as a foreigner. Why are you here in Thailand? Oh, I'm working in a trading company yeah. and I'm uh, married to a Thai woman. Ah. So first we lived in France and after we moved to Thailand 16 years ago. My wife uh, was home six, so we had to, <laughs> yeah. we had to move. Yeah. And anyway, I wanted to move from uh, just, uh, we left earlier than expected, but uh, it's okay, so, I wanted to move. So are you homesick now to France? Never. No? <laughs> okay. <laughs> the best reasons for you to be in Thailand now? Um, like the, the, the quality of life, uh, people are kind and uh, even the, uh, the way to work is better yeah. than French. Less stress and a regular job. Uh, how about the culture? Do you think you fit in to this polite culture? What they have? Yes, also, yes. People are kind and not aggressive and uh, also they are very tolerant about yeah. anything. Oh, so you feel welcome here? Yes, welcome yeah. and I think anyone feels welcome, any religion, any... Yeah. Huh? Yes. Do you have any bad experiences in Thailand? Um, a few ones, but uh, with the police, if you have a car accident, it's always your fault if oh. you are a foreigner, but this I know it. Did so. you have a car accident? Yes, yes. I was not wrong, but uh, in the end I finished to be wrong. Did you, have, did you have to pay a lot of money? or? Even with the best insurance, I had to pay some money to the police uh, and to the insurance. Yeah, I think that's the that's the only bad thing about Thailand. There's a, there's corruption yeah, here. Yeah, but it's okay. It's yeah. uh, it's part of the. Yeah, right. Sometimes it's helpful. Sorry. Sometimes it's helpful. Yeah, yeah. When you get <laughs> yeah. stopped on the motorway. Yeah, yeah. Okay, here, yeah. sorry. <laughs> huh? Okay, thank you for your time. Do you have okay. a, a message? Because I'm making this video really for the people that are deciding maybe to come to Thailand or to Bangkok. Ah, okay. Do you have a tip uh, or like some advice? Um, I would say it's worth coming, but think twice before to make sure you don't want to make just a, a go and come back ah, but so maybe maybe visit first before you make the move yes uh, and uh, some people they would come because they know a girl but ah. sometimes it's not enough and you must be sure you, you are able yeah. to live here well so. you're you're sure because you you're married already for many years right yes, so yes nice congratulations sir do you have a message to the world or some wisdom to pass on uh, peace peace Thank you so much, sir. Before we crack on this interview, you might have noticed a little change. I have not been doing a lot of travel videos, more interviews with people, street interviews. I would like to keep this element in there, but I'm also gonna do some more travel videos. I'm gonna take the channel back to the north, back to Chiang Mai, and we're gonna go around. We're gonna do some local experiences, uh, but obviously we're gonna do some YOY Chiang Mai's. There will be a lot of interviews coming up with a lot of interesting people that have been traveling, that have been living in Chiang Mai, in Thailand. So that's coming up. Also the travel videos, I wanna keep them in on this channel as well, but maybe not as much as I've done before. What made you come here in the first place? Um, so um, I think it's, well, it's like any place really. It's kind of whatever resonates with you and it's kind of why do we like some people and not others, even though clearly some people are total assholes or a complete mess. <laughs> wow, okay. So, so I think that Thailand is just one of those places that some people it resonates with them and others it doesn't. Um, do you remember when you came here for the first time, what you thought about it before you came here? Um, so I came in 2011, many years ago, yeah. and um, I just, I didn't really know what to think about it. And then um, I came a lot for business. I stayed in Singapore for seven years and yeah. then I don't know I kind of my heart decided that we needed to be here in November of 2019 and I needed to come by March 2020 so I just moved over yeah I think there are pros and cons about living here I think in many ways it can be very easy um, I think most of the challenges that we have are really in our heads if you decide that you want to be somewhere then you know you're there ah. I've lived in like the US, Canada, London, uh, Singapore, and so many different cultures. And then yeah. um, I've visited and competed in many different cultures. So I quite like the politeness, but I also think that 
it's understanding the nuances beneath it, and I think in doing that, you have to understand the language and the whole culture behind uh, it too. Don't you don't you speak the language? Thai. Okay, well you, you you're going to be embarrassing me because I don't speak the language oh. very well. So <laughs> how long have you been here? Uh, well, a year, but oh, it's okay. kind of got out of control. I, I planned to be here for nine months last yeah. year. And I love it so much. Do you have many Thai friends living here? Yes, I do. I'm. Um, I have a lot of friends from Thailand, um, probably across the divides. Okay. So very wealthy, high, so very um, rustic yeah, the, village villagers. Yeah, oh, yeah. Really? A lot okay. of gangsters, monks, Muay Thai fighters, business people, everybody. Well, you got also gangster friends, let's say. Yeah, I got. To, they took me fishing, and they offered to tattoo me, but I declined the tattoo. Oh, how, that's so. But I got that, fishing. I caught fish. Wow. Yeah. Oh, cool. <laughs> thank you for sharing that. You're welcome. Uh, do, you, like do, you, do you have a message to the world or some wisdom to pass on? Uh, no, I think it's that uh, you know you're responsible for your own happiness. Stop getting in your own way. Thank you. Thank you <laughs> no so worries. much. Thank you. Bye bye. Can you remember still before you came here the first time, what did you think of Thailand and did that match your expectation? It does. Uh, I was uh, I was looking for a job in the hospitality business and then uh, it took me a while to to find a suitable position. Yeah. But then uh, finally I was successful to be hired by a hospitality management company in Bangkok. So ah. I started my career here and uh, really enjoy it. Did you uh, work in the last few years also in hospitality? I did, but uh, it's been challenging. Okay, yeah. we are, we are. The, the, the country is expecting to lift the restriction, so hopefully this year going to be the the last uh, part of the pandemic. Do you speak Thai then? Uh, I cap, I cap. You have to. You must. I mean, yeah. To to. Be, I mean, being living here for 26 years, you you've been. Uh, uh, I've been accommodated to the to the Thai language, so uh, yeah. yeah, it's. It's a necessary, and even even uh, for the for, for, for your job, you uh, it's a plus when you are, when you address the, the staff in Thai language. Is yeah. they, they really appreciate you're doing an effort, so they do appreciate. Yeah, I do speak Thai. Yeah, yeah. yeah. that's good. That's good. So I I think uh, the Thai people are very polite. They do. do you uh, do you think that matches with the culture that you are coming from? Ah, uh, it's completely different. Okay, you must you must be patient. You you must. Uh, you you must be confident with the with with their their policy their rules their yeah. their, their behavior their uh, social things but yeah. there is no no issue at all yeah, yeah. yeah. they've been nice they've been nice people extremely nice people yeah extremely nice people so what, what do you think is the nicest thing about Thailand in general quality of life yeah. uh, you got everything I mean uh, you flew down to Phuket you have a nice beach resort you yeah. you can go to up country you have a Hilly, uh, Khaoyai area. Amazing, yeah. uh, you go to the north of Thailand is another thing. So you got you got everything, and and you are away from uh, uh, two hour flight from Hong Kong, two hour flight from yeah. Singapore. So it's yeah, yeah. It's also good. very central in in Southeast Asia. That's right. Playing golf also is uh, <laughs> it's, it's a paradise here. You have uh, more oh, than more than 120 international golf courses in Thailand. So oh, then, uh, okay. How, how about Bangkok? Does it have good golf courses as well? Fantastic. Yeah. Fantastic. Did you have any bad experiences in these 26 years? Not at all. No? <laughs> Amazing. Not at all. Do you have a message to the world or some wisdom to share? No, um, hopefully the, this will be the end of the pandemic yeah. and then we will back to back to, back to normal life, okay? Because yeah. we are really dependent on the, on the tourism in Thailand and we are suffering a lot for the, for the, for the last two years. Yeah. Hopefully that's, I mean, I wish the best and yeah. peace, peace on us. Thank you. Thank you so much for your Have time, nice sir. Day. Thank you. Bangkok and Thailand is a really good place to live as a foreigner. Uh, the people, all the local people are really accepting you here, uh, being here, even if you don't speak the language that well. Obviously, everyone is recommending that, and I do as well, that you're going to have to learn the language at least a little bit. But yeah, especially if you do it, live here for several years, you're going to have to learn the language to actually integrate with the culture as well. Just over a year ago, I decided to go full-time on YouTube and I can tell you already that we're gonna do at least another year. It definitely helps if you like this content to give us a like, subscribe to the channel if you like the street interviews and if you like to uh, learn more about Thailand and to see more about Thailand, we're gonna travel around a little bit. I'm gonna take you up to the north again, as I said earlier on. It's also possible to join the channel now to become a member. It's got three different levels. Uh, this definitely helps 
to grow a sustainable channel. So yeah, thank you for considering this anyway. It comes with a few perks as well. But yeah, the most important thing I think is to keep this channel going. At least that's what I want. Hopefully you're with me on this journey. Thank you for watching till the very end. I would like to say from one of the busiest crossroads in the center of Bangkok at Asok BTS station. Bye for now and stay champ.